Hello viewers, welcome back. Today we will discuss about FB function block. As we know that all of our user program can be write in a main organization block called OB1. But if the program is very large, it is not easy to find the program where it's right the specific program so we can divide those program and use in fb so fb can be used as a subroutine program so fb is a code block that has a memory which store its data so fb can be used for optimization of program we can divide user program in a small parts to maintain or alter the program easily or also we can use the fb as a library in that way we can write down the program in one time but use those program again and again in one program or multi program so let's see first we'll check the the function block fb can be used as a subroutine program so we can write down here the program like a small doll motto doll start program sorry suppose we have three input like start stop and ready and one output so first one is start and if the input is 0.0, .0 this start I have already renamed this input I 0.1 I 0.2 and Q 0.0, .0 as a output Q 0.0, .0 as a output so I have written this program in a OB1 so I will download it and check this program so in OB1 I have write this program if we have the larger program so we can divide those program and use in a fb as a subroutine program we can here i we can force this one ready signal then stop signal also force as a one so now if we If we press the stop but start button, the motor will run and it's hold. If we now release it, so motor will continue to run until the uh, your motor ready signal gun out or you press the stop button. If we now press the stop button, it will stop okay now we'll use this program in a fb as a subroutine program so to create the function block we have to click add new block now it it will open a new dialog here i have select the function block i'm giving a block fb test name and language as a ladder 
Now click OK. It will prefer the copy and paste in here. Now I am delete this one because we don't need this one here because I already write this program in here so we don't need to write in both places now I am going to download this program and check that it is working or not as a subroutine program so it is not um, it is not uh, executing because I am not we still now call this uh, FB test block in a OB1 so I have to call this block so I am calling this see I have told that FB has a memory that stores data so where it store the data FB has a when you call the FB it will generate a instant DB block this DB block memory data used as a DB block memory uh, tag used as a memory as a normal data block so I am giving it a ok button click it will generate a test db in this test db we can see the tag name but here there is no tag it is just a uh, parameter type input output in out are static so we'll check later how we can define the input output parameter during the main uh, during the creation of um, library so now check here after download we'll check now see now it is um, execute i am forcing it again stop stop button is pressed now i am releasing it by force it to one now if i press the start button force to one now it is run again if we release the stop button it should hold yes it is hold so fb can be used as a subroutine program so we can divide our main organization block user program in a small small part as a subroutine program uh, in a fb block so how now how we can use the function block as a library block so if you have a hundred of motors in a plant then you have to write down same program again and again for uh, all of your motor doll motor starter like see here i have create the motor block here here i have create in a scl language this is all the instruction only for one doll start motor here code as a visualization of your hmi also sequence start stop other um, interlock everything is here so if you write all this program for 100 motors your program will be very large but you can create a block as a library and you can call again and again also you can use this library in other project also so how we can do this how we can create a library function so i am create a another 
function block called as a motor fb also language is a ladder so create uh, a library function you have to give a input output uh, parameter to give a input output parameter you have to click on this arrow button it will open this input output so input output parameter we have to as, uh, assign a or you have to declare a variable that will use um, in the program so uh, from the fb test we have three input like start stop ready and one output so i am assigning this input output here or declare this input out input here is start is drop and ready and one is the output sorry output is a command so we can name we can create same logic like fb test in motor fb here start we should not use the physical input output like i0.0 i0.1 here in uh, library function you have to use your internal input output parameter here so here stroke is input parameter ready also input parameter and command is a output parameter now i am holding the start command by output parameter command this output parameter cannot use in fc you can use in function block library now i am deleting this one so now in this fb test we can call this motor fb during any function block call it will generate a instance db block to store the data so when we call this motor fb it will be like this inside this fb you can write all of your user program associate with motor doll start now for fc you have to assign a actual parameter here here but for fb you don't need to assign all the parameter you can assign as your need for now i need all this input and output now i am use here start button assign stop button as a 0.1 i 0.2 and command as a q 0.0 okay now again i am downloading and check this function will it work or not now here ready is okay stop button also okay now if i press the start button it will start now if i release command will hold okay so if you need to use any output parameter as input then you can use a static static tag for intermediate uh, intermediate if i use like this here command static another tag like this static bool like this and use here i don't want to use this command as a input so we can here use like a um, static here 
command and you can use this static input as a static output as a input and here you can use this command and this input like this now see your now here reinitialize call because your motor fb is changed so see again in motor fb their static uh, tag is here so in fb library block input output in out and static all those parameter will create in instant db block not temporary and constant so again check it is now false again i am i am giving a start command command is true now if i remove it is holding so if you want to check any library instruction inside the instruction in library you can click right on this block and click on open and monitor it will take you to the instruction see here if you give a stop command your motor is stopped so from here you can check the instruction is it working or not and where is the problem in your instruction you can check from here okay thank you